testing one two three testing one two three hi my name is Inga and today I will be discussing how to deal with bullies and harassment I really thought my first video would be about fashion and that type of thing but here I am talking about harassment and bullies but it's befitting today is the 4th of July happy 4th of July everyone I hope you're having a good time with your family family members and friends and it's a time of to celebrate freedom and I hope this video helps someone and I believe it is a good start because when you do anytime you try to improve your life you will get resistance you'll get people who get upset because hey you might be the one that helped them feel better about their own lives that they are unhappy with and but they look at you and they see that you're not doing they feel as if they're doing better than you and so they tend to look down on you to help themselves feel better but when you begin to come up, you will then see another side of them. And it's usually not very good. And um, so I would say if it, it could happen anywhere, it could happen in your own home, it could happen amongst your uh, friends, it could happen at your workplace, it could happen in your neighborhood, um, it can happen... Um, in school um, and what you I would say your best friend would be documenting start a diary dates times names keep it private definitely keep it in a safe private secure place and this way you will begin to be able to determine if there is a pattern and if how severe it is getting if it's just little petty things or if the person is be starting to become a physical threat are they um, damaging your your property are they physically um, attacking you that that's a concern but I would say um, first start off with documenting I'm, I'm not going to go into the the part of um, when someone is actually being assaulted and those type of things like that. I'm not I'm not going to touch on that, but I'm ta I'm more so talking about if you suspect that you're being harassed or you're being bullied. If you are you kind of questioning it and you're on the fence of it, I would say document it. Make sure you date it, put the time, and do it. Um, and try to get some place and write it down when it's fresh in your mind. Don't do it the next day. Do it immediately when you're in some place alone and private. Keep it to yourself. This way you can go, you'll have a, something to gauge and something to look back and say, listen, this is escalating. You know, now they're become they're calling me names now. Um, I, I let them borrow my sweater, came back with a hole in it. You know, I let them borrow my car. You know, it got keyed, and they don't understand. They don't know how it happened. Those type of things, and so this way, if you you have a, a diary, you can go back. And look at it and then you will be able to see it's not your imagination you're not exa over exaggerating and what you do is you state the facts not what you think okay state um, they this is what happened just as the details of it not what you think happened or how you felt you know but state what happened Okay. you gave them a white sweater 
when you we were, they returned it, it had a pink tint to it. That type of thing. So this will be it. You'll be able to gauge um, a lot better as to whether or not this is your just your imagination or if and sometimes you might just have to move on um, from the friendship from the relationship um, but I would say also make sure you pray about the situation if you're in a, a relationship a friendship with the person you know try to talk to them what's going on um, but be cautious if there's something um, like where you're in danger there's hotlines that you can get in touch with and speak to people who are trained professionals or or who have um, training special training in those areas if so you could have someone to sit down and you can go and talk to and so you could get the help that you need but back to the beginning of what I was saying is once you decide to improve your life you will get people that will get upset over it because more than likely if you were someone who didn't care about your looks who didn't care about your appearance who didn't want to do anything to improve your own life then you were the person that made other people feel um, better about their own unhappy lives and that's that's a sad truth but it is what it is but I would encourage you to not give up pray daily uh, for myself I pray daily I use um, affirmations uh, I have a devotional with people on my job every day in the morning before we start our regular routine and it is very helpful I have prayer partners when there's challenges that I face and you can get under a lot of pressure from from others and just stresses and I was at a place where I gained like 50 pounds then I gained some more another 40 and before I knew it it was like I've it, it was just it was just out of control thank God I've lost a total of 73 pounds still most definitely now and I'm very happy about that but I'm at a place now I have to get over trying to be perfect I'm not perfect but I believe in striving to be your best striving to do things uh, with excellence it's the best of your ability and I'm I hope that this helps someone um, and I just hope you have a great day and a beautiful life God bless you